Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to overlay aerial map for your CAD drawing by using Autodesk Geolocation. There are three sessions in this video. First session is solve the issue that you are getting this message when you are using Geolocation. And the second one is for overlay aerial image for properly coordinated drawing by using Civil 3D. And the last session is for overlay aerial image by using AutoCAD for the drawing which is not assigned any coordinate system. Let me open Civil 3D. Please continue watching even if you are using AutoCAD only because in this session I have included solving the issue if you are getting the no permission access message. Let me set this drawing coordinate system. If you want to know more about setting coordinate system, Please watch my another video from the link below in this video description. For some reason this available corner system drop down menu is not working. But it's ok we have some alternative method to set the corner system. Type map cs assign in command bar and you will get this corner system assign window. And here in the search area type your drawing corner system keyword and my drawing is in WGS84. After typing the keyword, choose the correct coordinate system from the list. Once we assign the coordinate system, the geolocation tab will be enabled and from here you can just click on the map off and choose the map aerial. Just click on yes. And it will ask you to log in with your Autodesk account. If you have an account in Autodesk, you can log in with that account, or else you can just click on the below create account and you can create one new account and log in. If you are getting this message that because of you are not using updated map information, but it's okay that you can update it from Autodesk account. Click on close and you will get another message so here choose the first option get updated information it will open autodesk website on your browser scroll down to the bottom and click here to download install the downloaded application before that make sure you closed all the autodesk applications okay installation is completed just press ok Open again the Civil 3D and choose the drawing which we already set the coordinate system. Here we can add aerial map from this geolocation panel and this panel only visible if the drawing is geolocated. Click here in this aerial map and now the aerial map is loaded and from here we can crop the area only we interested by selecting the capture area. Click on capture area and select the area by cross window selection and choose map off from the aerial map icon. We can give maximum quality for the captured map area. Select the map and change optimal to verify. We can do stretch and move with this captured aerial map. I am covering this with next session that aerial map for non coordinated drawing by using AutoCAD. So please continue watching this video. Open AutoCAD and open the drawing this drawing not assigned any coordinate system however we can insert aerial image for this drawing type geo and choose the geographical location and map and here press yes and from this window you can type the project address or zoom to the project location this roundabout is my reference point. I am adding a marker here in roundabout center by clicking right button and adjust the marker exact center. And click next. Here just select any coordinate system. It really doesn't matter because we have our reference point. I just choosing the first one. And now pick the reference point. Here in this drawing, I am picking this roundabout center and show the north direction angle. As we can see this drawing, north direction is upside. So press F8 and click on top. Also we can type the north angle direction. 
and now the aerial map is loaded we can crop the aerial map where we need to show by using this capture area and of the aerial map and also we can move and stretch the captured area and this will update the map for respected area as you can see here and change optimal to very fine to get maximum quality map image also we can adjust brightness contrast and fade effect thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe this channel